Hey everyone, Tony here, JP Wisco, back with another video for you. So today I want to show you guys some more Japanese cards and cards of Japanese players. So let's get into it with, maybe let's just start with some odds and ends here. I've got this 2009 Bowman Chrome Blue of Noriaoki. And Noriaoki, you might remember him... Uh, he played for the Brewers for a time, a couple of years. So I always pick up his cards when I can, either Japanese or, you know, Western American. This one looks way better in hand than I'm sure it does on film, but um, number to 150, you may recognize the design um, from 2009. This is the Trout First Bowman Auto. I guess subset or something like that. Maybe a little different because it's WBC. Uh, let's see here. Speaking of WBC, I picked up, I went to my LCS, I found, I was just digging around the many nooks and crannies, and I found these awesome little WBC cards. Uh, here's one of you, Darvish. Now, I think, uh, I don't actually think these are for a game. They're just. They kind of give the players numbers, almost like Madden ratings, like from Madden. Um, so here's you, Darvish. And this is from the inaugural WBC that Japan won in 2009. So the back has just got some stats, and I don't know if they calculate these, but they basically give him like little graphs to show like how adept he is at various things. So there's Darvish, and I also got the, from the same set, uh, Masahiro Tanaka. So let's see here. I picked up a really, just a really clean, nice looking card. This is the 2014 Kalbi Shohei Otani. This is just his second year, sophomore season Kalbi card. Just a really nice, clean image of Otani winding up. I love that blue glove. Um, I guess it wouldn't really match his Angels uniform, but yeah, it looks nice. I think Walker Bueller has a blue glove, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I picked up, man, this is a really nice one. This is from the just released, well, at least a few months ago, uh, 2021 Topps Chrome NPB. So Topps got a license for Japanese baseball, and they put out their first set last year. I picked up the Masahiro Tanaka Refractor. Uh, so, of course, as you probably know, he went back to the Eagles, his Japanese team. And this is his card from the chrome so they did chrome and regular so nice masahiro tanaka refractor there and i don't know what that number on the back means but this is what the backs look like so the, of course these are basically just exactly the same design as the 2021 tops uh let's see here so actually i'll show you i have some of the regular ones too Here's, uh, for example, a base card of, uh, which one is this? Oh, this is Takashi Toritani, and he's kind of a Hanshin Tigers legend, but he, last year, at least played for the uh, Chiba Lote Marines, and so, yeah, that's... Just like 2021 tops, basically. The tops logo is in a different location, and it's a little bigger than on the major league ones. But uh, I was happy to find digging around. I found a 2017 base card of Ichiro, and Ichiro. I'm doing a uh, player run, a base tops card. So I'm doing base tops card runs of certain players. And Ichiro is one of them. So I was happy to pick this up. My rule for these player runs is that I cannot buy any of the cards online. Uh, on eBay, at least. So pull it myself. Uh, 
you know, go to the LCS and find one, um, get it at a show or something like that. But I can't buy them on eBay. I put that restriction on myself. Uh, found this uh, Shohei Otani insert from the current 2022 tops. This uh, Generation Now insert. And let's see here. Okay, uh, so I want to get into a player I've been collecting more of recently. And that is Tsuyoshi Shinjo. Uh, he's a Japanese player who you might remember from the early 2000s. He played for the New York Mets and the San Francisco Giants for a couple few years in the major leagues. Uh, so this is his 2001 Topps Chrome rookie card. I've shown this card, I'm quite sure, on my channel before. And Shinjo is quite a colorful character. Uh, before he came to the major leagues, he played mostly for the... Well, only before he came to the major leagues. He played for the Hanshin Tigers. So, this is his, if you recognize this set, this is his 1993 BBM card. Um, the same set, of course, as Ichiro's famous rookie card. So, I'll tell you a little bit about Shinjo. Uh, he played, again, about a decade for the Hanshin Tigers before he came to the Major Leagues. And he was never, even in Japan, he was never really... Uh, one of the top talents. He was never like in that the top echelon, even in Japan. Uh, but he came to the majors anyway, right? Usually the very biggest stars kind of come over and try to apply their trade here. Uh, but Shinjo was never really one of the top, top talents. Uh, but he was a fan favorite. And this is due to his sense of humor and his kind of his colorful personality. Uh, if you didn't know, Shinjo will be uh, starting this season the manager of the Hokkaido Nippon Ham Fighters, uh, Yu Darvish and Shohei Otani's former team. Uh, and at his introductory press conference, in typical colorful Shinjo style, he said, I want you to call me Big Boss. And so now the Japanese media and the talk shows call him Big Boss. So it's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, so Shinjo, he was kind of like a, a, a definitely a milder, uh, kind of almost Dennis Rodman kind of character, right? Kind of out there, kind of funky, sense of humor, and just kind of weird, right? So here's his... So he really endeared himself to his fans. And one of Shinjo's most famous moments while we look at this 93 uh, Colby card, just a really cool, clean-looking card uh, with a really nice, just clean-looking back, too. Um, so one of Shinjo's most famous moments, uh, I want to tell you a couple amazing facts about Tsuyoshi Shinjo. The first one is Shinjo got a walk-off hit on a would-be intentional walk. So uh, the other team tried to intentionally walk him. And this was back right uh, when, you know, they were going through the song and dance, uh, the dog and pony show of, like, you know, throwing wide and just getting through the four balls, right? Shinjo decided he wasn't having it. And he just, he kind of dug down and went and got one when they were trying to walk him. And he got a hit, and it was a walk-off hit. And it's one of the more famous moments in more recent Japanese baseball history. You can find the video on YouTube. Uh, I highly suggest you check out uh, Tsuyoshi Shinjo's walk-off hit on a would-be intentional walk. Uh, but he's historical for another reason. Uh, as we look at another nice Shinjo here, this is a 98 Colby. So like I said, he's historical for another reason. And Shinjo is in fact the very first Japanese player to appear in the World Series. 
Uh, he appeared in the World Series with the Giants. He was with the Giants for a year. Uh, so he was a teammate of Barry Bonds. And he appeared in the World Series when the Giants lost to the then Anaheim Angels uh, in 2002, I believe. So he is the first Japanese player uh, to appear in the World Series. And I think that's pretty cool. Here's his 94 BBM. Okay, so enough about Shinjo. To close this video out, I want to show you some Ichiros I've picked up. And I want to end it with a super rare Ichiro uh, that I'm really excited about. Um, that I didn't even know existed until a couple weeks ago. So here's a 98 uh, title holder Colby card of Ichiro. See if I can catch some of that shine. There you go. And here is a two, which year is this? 2000? This is, two, I guess, 2000 Colby. Uh, this is a star card. And insert kind of a subset that they do to this day in Colby chips. That star in the bag, as you can see, man, that thing looks really cool. It's kind of like a brushed foil. You know, Ichiro is known as just being sort of a a, a creature of routine and, you know, how kind of just one of those people where, you know, his body is a temple and he's kind of, he's this guy's doing stretches in the outfield and, you know, it's just funny to look back at these old Ichiro cards when he's like, you know, very young and, you know, his physique and his basically, he doesn't look any different than like the year he retired when he was like 57. No, just kidding. He was like 43 or whatever, but uh, so here is a Mariners one. This is 2006 Ultimate Collection. Um, this one is number two. 799. See if I can't get that one a little more. Okay. Uh, and finally, this is the super rare Ichiro card. I do not know how many of these are left on planet Earth, but I just, I really don't think too many. <laughs> uh, so this is a 1998 stadium-issued Ichiro card. So this was handed out at one of the Oryx Blue Waves games in 1998. And you can see the mascot down here and... Uh, this is basically kind of a, maybe not like an advertisement, but slogan with the mascot. And each year up there. And if you look on the back here, uh, what this says, basically it is instructions to redeem a prize. So the instructions here say, you know, uh, basically you have this number here. And if they called your number over the loudspeaker at the stadium, uh, you were to proceed to a specific gate, uh, and then you could redeem your prize. And what you did was, so this, this card, you can't really make it out, but it's actually perforated. So the white part on the bottom is the ticket you would rip off to redeem your prize, and then you could take the, the Ichiro part home. Uh, or whatever. Uh, so, of course, this was not a winning number, uh, I assume. But this is, so this is a little bit like the Hires Root Beer or the uh, Redmond cards, where there's this tab on the bottom that you could have ripped off, but this one has the tab still intact. And I assume most of these cards are the few examples that are still around today probably still have the tabs on just for the mere fact that most of these numbers were not winners right so and anyway super rare Ichiro I'm super stoked to have this one 
Um, so that's it, guys. As always, thanks for watching, and peace on Earth.